Hey, what's going on everyone? I hope you guys are all doing well. In this video, I'm gonna be going over how to get into actual bot lobbies in Apex Legends Season 18. Now, Apex Legends, whether you love it or hate it, most players can agree on that there is a little bit of a skill-based matchmaking issue. The casual players can't seem to get out of Predator and Master lobbies, and the Predator and Master players can't seem to get out of the casual lobbies. So it is really nice to know that there is actually an escape to all of this. Apex Legends actually has a players which you can go up against. They originally introduced these lobbies back in season 16, but every couple weeks you would notice that the bots would change. Some weeks they would be just harder than others because Respawn was still figuring out the bots after they released them. Right now we're two thirds of the way into season 18 and finally Respawn has stopped tweaking the bots because sometimes these bots would actually be worse than normal players. Sometimes they would actually have aimbot and beam you from across the map, but luckily now they're no more intelligent than the dumb you would fight against in the firing range and these lobbies are super fun to go into if you just want to goof off with your friends now with all of that being said let's go over how to actually get into one of these lobbies the first and most important thing you'll need is an alt account this can either be a friend making a brand new account or if you have a separate system like an extra pc with apex on it or another console with it you can join your main account with that level one alt account now once you have been joined by that level one account you will actually be put into orientation lobbies and these lobbies are going to be filled with AI players and from here all you'll need to do is ready up. Now how orientation matches are supposed to work is your level one account usually will only have five matches and then after they play five matches whether they just join in that match for a second or that account goes through the entire match that account will only be able to get into orientation matches just a couple times. So if you're using an alt account in particular like mine, as soon as you get into a match, you'll want to immediately close Apex Legends on that alt account. And if you close Apex right away, that account shouldn't get any experience on it and thus the account should stay locked in orientation matches. Now something to remember, if you join in alone, so it's just your alt and you, you may actually get paired with a new player or usually it will just be another person's smurf account. But with that being said, an orientation match is comprised of 48 bots leaving room for up to 12 real players to join into that lobby. Now, of course, it is really rare to come across real people in these lobbies, but it does happen. Now, I personally like playing like this because you can actually get the surprise on people and they won't be expecting you. But if you want to minimize your chance of getting paired, you can either server swap after every match, and I've actually seen this work. Just make sure you're server swapping on that alt account, or you can just turn crossplay off. And with all that being said, thank you guys all so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys all around in those bot lobbies later. Bye guys.